Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we ask to see the truth of this day, the revelation that is prepared for us, that is gifted to us. Lord, we, as, as we look for grace for the mistakes of our past, we look also for the grace that leads us away from sin and from, from, from sorrow and into your kingdom, Lord. We pray for wisdom and, and understanding and guidance for the illumination of your Holy Spirit, especially as we turn to your word. And Lord, we pray that for those who will be in positions of authority and leadership over us, that people will not be satisfied with simply holding offices and, and instituting power, but that they will use those those places of responsibility for the encouragement and the uplifting of others and the and the building up of 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 what we would call our society, but Lord, what you desire is the building up of your kingdom. And that is more than just getting members for organizations, but Lord, for for transforming people's hearts, for encouraging the 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 mindset of a society, for creating not not a new idea, but the first idea, your idea. That your creation should be a place where love is known and shared, where we care for one another and for this creation. And Lord, where our hopes and, and our belief is all focused upon you, where we spend our lives walking with you and celebrating life together with you, our creator. Lord, hear our prayer as we look for you this day and each and every day. In Christ we pray. Amen. In God's word, we turn to Psalm 72, a very prophetic text. Psalm 72, reading verses 10 and 11. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall bring presents. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall offer gifts. Yea, all the kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall serve him. And it is the great prophetic text of the three kings, which... If you look into the Gospel of Matthew, he doesn't say three, but that's okay. We have these gifts. They symbolize um, life, life and death, rule and authority, spiritual leadership. They're, they're great symbols, and, and you can write sermons, especially since there's three points there. But there's a, there's a point in that psalm that we don't know whether it was three kings or 30 kings that came or what we would call professors or magi or leading officials or scholars. They came and they sought for Christ and they worshiped Christ. And they were, as people, symbolic of all the nations of the world seeking to serve Christ. And, I mean, it's wonderful to celebrate the birth of Christ but what the birth of Christ is supposed to affect, not only in the days of, you know, the first century, Jesus' lifetime, but now, in our day and age, that call to have all nations serve him, that call to take up what is represented in that event of the visiting of the Magi, what is being described in this psalm is where we ought to be where our leaders are are bowed down to Christ, not to the church, not to the institutions that we call church, but is bowed down to Christ. Where those who would be in any kind of, of role of teaching would be bowed down to Christ. Where those would be in any kind of role, uh, and, and again, not to the institutions that claim Christ. Because the church is not a perfect institution. It seeks, hopefully, more than anything else. It seeks after the grace and the life of grace that, that Christ offers, that his coming represents, that these magi were celebrating. But the church is meant to be a leading example of what is described here. And, and when we need to look at as members of, of congregations, whatever your denomination, as members of congregations, is this what's being represented by us? Is this what we're bringing to Christ? Are we 
with wherever we're coming from, whatever our nationality is, whatever our culture is, are we bringing who we are and how we are as a loving gift before our Lord and Savior, before our Messiah, our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless and keep you. Amen.